Hey there, everybody. I am That's trying to, whoops. my apologies about that. I am trying to get everything set up real quick. I am running at the higher resolution. I remember to change the settings. Uh, it's interesting to see if we will able, be able to actually uh, get decent streaming at this. Uh, let's see, YouTube says it's connecting, but I've been messing around with some of the uh, settings on uh, my brain to function here um, on my la uh, desktop. I am streaming from the laptop. Oops, sorry. Let me get to the comments here. Uh, missed that real quick. There we go. Uh, hey, Eva, nice to see you on. Uh, Gwen, it's nice to see you as always. All right. Uh, let me just make sure I got Rumble up on the desktop so I can see if anybody chats there. Um, does look like I am getting streaming from uh, um, through YouTube. It's a little fuzzy on my desktop, so hopefully it's not too bad for you folks. All right. Um, I am going to actually pause the uh, playback on YouTube Studio. It'll still give me the chats there. And let me quickly figure you guys would rather be on than uh, my trying to uh, uh, set everything up ahead of time and then get going. And almost there. Let's get Rumble going. Just got to get the link running there and then uh, pause the playback. Do apologize for the delays here. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll get started with the braiding, and when that actually comes up, I will then pause to take care of that real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, drop some of the tama down a little bit here. It looks like I was getting a bit high before stopping yesterday. Oh, and to uh, our, our starting point, the braid extends up to here. Let's see how far we can get tonight. I'm hoping to be able to go two hours. Um, my uh woke up with a migraine this morning so i've been kind of less than functional but uh i finally remembered to take my wake up medicine about two o'clock today so i'm not going to be too sleepy i don't think which would be nice let's drop these down here a bit more on the sides and then uh, change the top for the bottom and then i'll finish up dropping them down and then we can just keep going hey texas nana nice to see you on Thank you again for uh, re-watching through all my, uh, or not all, but uh, through some of the older streams. I hope you've been enjoying them. Uh, I've been seeing the comments you've been posting there. So you're definitely helping uh, my uh, uh, watch hours there. Let's see, this is stuck here. Let's see, there we go. It got a little stuck where it won't unroll, so I got to pull it loose there. There we go. Whoops, that was a bit too much. And I think I pulled off the, nope, that's what happened. Lark said not tied up, or slipped off and tied up. Let's see if I can't get this fixed. It's a little snug, but I think I can still untie it. Get this, tease this apart here. The uh, downside, but necessary skill that you need to learn i don't need to but it makes life a lot easier is untying knots all right i can't get this going fairly quickly i'm going to grab a little push pin see if i can't use that to manipulate it a bit more but i think i got it here let's just make sure i'm not snagging it unevenly all right so that's looking pretty good Let's just get a little bit more, and then I can actually do it the proper way. Hmm. Looks like we got a little... Ah, okay, I see what happened here. It looks like somehow I managed to... Hmm. Pass through, like, one strand of the floss... So let's go 
go ahead and sorry i'm trying to be careful not to accidentally make a worse knot here all right let's pull this one through here all right so okay and looks like it has loops through here so we will pull this around and is that completely undone all right yep that got it it's nice and smooth let's try this again redo the lark said knot and hopefully it won't snag all right there we go get that the right length that took a whole lot more time than i was hoping Not sure why I've been getting so many migraines out here than normal. It's probably due to the weather, is my guess. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I got my car back. Um, I think it was Monday, and the uh, uh, seems to be running pretty good. Though the brakes that I was supposed to have worked on before I came out here apparently were not, which was really kind of annoying. All right, let me pause that here. All right, I do have Rumble up. And we're back here. Let me catch up with the chat here. Um, let's see. Okay, that's uh, that's nice to hear, uh, Eva Star or Eva. I'm not gonna try the rest of it. I keep screwing that up. I hope that uh, your embroidery product em embroidery project goes well and you enjoy it. All right. Hey, uh, Marmar. Um, nice to see you on. I saw your uh, comment on Twitter. Uh, did want to. Uh, let you know that uh, I did post there that if you uh, sign up to my locals, you can uh, get notifications because I do uh, post there my uh, post my streaming uh, notifications there first. Whoops! Actually, this is our starting point. The uh, bag was a little low, so all right. Um, and you don't have to pay for it; just for the notifications, you're welcome to sign up. I do try and uh, post there uh, for all the streams that I do. Okay. And let's make sure these are correctly adjusted. There we go. All right. So to the top and to the bottom and to the left. And to the right. It's looking good. And to the top, and to the bottom, and to the left, and to the right. Sounds like that some kids are playing outside the uh, quartermaster box here. Don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but they're running and having fun. At least I'm assuming they're running by how fast the uh, voice changes orientation. Assuming my stereoscopic hearing, stereoscopic hearing, is not too screwed up. All right, so just need to adjust the uh, or do the left and the right here, and then I can drop the remaining tama and get going. And just drop these down here to the same height as the rest of them. Woohoo! Thank you very much, and I uh, hope that uh, you find the locals to be useful to you. I am going to try and get some more exclusive content going up there fairly soon, so it's nice for the people who do wind up uh, paying there. Um, not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing with that. I'll have to think about it. All right, so let's get going full speed and to the top. And to the bottom. And to the left. And to the right. The main reason I was I wanted to mention locals to you is that way you don't have to turn on all of Twitter or X's notification things. Because um, I can imagine that can be fairly annoying if you don't want to get them. And only get the one notification you wanted there. At least I'm assuming that my notifications were the one you wanted from what you said.
And I'm thinking, unless I get some real progress on maybe this stream and the next one, I'll go ahead and start doing uh, captured video so that I can uh, upload them as finished uh, things rather than an actual live stream. So I can try and get this one done before the event's over. I really do enjoy the live streams, uh, but sometimes it takes a fair amount of mental energy just to get everything set up. I need to uh, go to an old stream so I can use as a template, copy everything over to Rumble, generate a new stream key and server link there, paste those into StreamYard and update the destination for Rumble, then uh, generate the uh, or create the uh, stream in uh, StreamYard and wait for it to update over to YouTube then update YouTube so it knows it's not for kids, so it can actually have a nice chat. And then uh, sharing the uh, YouTube and Rumble links uh, to locals, Twitter, and um, Reddit, and Facebook. I didn't get uh, Reddit set up uh, as a link tonight, mainly due to the fact I was having a hard time getting a lot of throughput on the Wi-Fi I was using for the desktop. I've been trying to save uh, my phone's tethered streaming as much as I can so that I can stream as much as possible. Or tethered hotspot, not just tethered streaming. So I can stream with the hotspot. So I'm hoping you guys are getting some nice video out of this. Um, I'm sure it's using a lot more data, but also my uh, cell plan resets uh, in four days. So even if I do accidentally use it all up tonight, um, I'll still have it available. It doesn't say I have a limit for it, uh, but as we all know, cell phone providers tend to uh, throttle your data speeds once you reach a certain limit, usually like about 20 or 40 gigs of uh, bandwidth a month. But as you can probably tell from my chattiness, this is definitely an easy braid to... Uh, think about other things while you're doing it so that uh, you don't have to spend a lot of concentration on it. So it's nice for something where if you're like, you know, watching a TV show, listening to the radio, listening to an audio book or a podcast, uh, you can do both and uh, kind of double up on your fun time there, in my experience. So, but we're making good progress on this. Um, like I said, I'm actually kind of awake. I did take a pain pill for the headache once I realized I was feeling enough better for other stuff that I was, did have a fairly significant headache, but uh, didn't realize it due to the uh, kind of feeling like I was crawling through molasses uh, before I took my wake-up pill. But I've been enjoying the event so far. Um, I did get a chance to look at some of the classes. There are some Kumihimo related ones. I think I might stop by just to like talk to the instructors and maybe some of the uh, class attendees, see if I can't get like a little uh, interview or two out of that, uh, if they're willing to do that. If they're not, that's perfectly fine. Um, and I'll try and, you know, just do some video of their work if they're happy with that. So, but that's my tentative plan for the next couple of days. Um, also want to hit the merchant's row, see if there's anything I would like to get. Uh, my day shift uh, employer has been very nice to me uh, about my time off and uh, my future plans and going with the company. So I was thinking of bringing back some souvenirs for them. And I just realized I haven't been keeping up with the chat. Let me stop and take a look real quick. So let's see. Okay. Just catching up with the chat here. Yep, I have a lot of things I like to do and learn as hobbies, so. That is one thing I have found is very useful uh, with learning new hobbies and skills, is giving, your permit, giving yourself permission to try something and not being upset if it just doesn't work out right. 
sometimes that's what you need to actually be able to learn how to do it properly is to see how you can mess it up. Well, the important thing is you're doing it because you want to enjoy it or you hopefully will enjoy it. So uh, uh, I find that uh, things are a lot less stressful if it's like I'm having fun. Even if it doesn't work out exactly right, I could try it again or tweak it. So definitely. And uh, I've got my fingers crossed for you, uh, Marmar. Hopefully uh, things will work out the way you want and you'll be able to enjoy it. All right. So back to the braid. And um, so I think I started to mention that uh, I did get my car fixed. I had a broken water pump. Uh, they had to take off the timing belt to get to it because it's a PT Cruiser. So had them replace the timing belt. Um, they also found a mashed up motor mount that had to be replaced and a couple of uh, cracked serpentine belts. So all of that got done. And um, I actually got that all done for about 1700 with the uh, tax and the uh, fee for using a credit card on that. So uh, which is a lot less than just the timing belt cost me to get replaced uh, where I live about 10, 12 years ago, something like that. So uh, I definitely don't feel like I've been overcharged on that. Um, but I did have some brake work done before I came out and it wasn't sounding too bad, but it did sound a little worse than I was expecting. But I've had uh, times where I've had brake work done and just for whatever reason, it doesn't, um, if they don't put like a, um, compound on the uh, the brake pads. It sounds a little uh, squeaky for a while until it uh, kind of breaks in. Well, I thought it might have been that, but it turns out it wasn't. My uh, front uh, brakes, which were the ones that the previous place that did the work had told me prior needed to be done, didn't actually apparently touch the front brakes at all. They only serviced the rear brakes. So I need to get my front brakes done. Probably will have to get new rotors, but may not. But uh, the place I had do the uh, timing belt is going to do that for me. He said it'll take me about an hour, so it won't be too much time out of the event to get that taken care of. And uh, I'll feel much happier on the drive home knowing that I have good front and rear brakes. I don't like driving in less than ideal vehicles. Did it too much as a kid. And now that I'm just about to turn 55, I definitely won't, don't want to have to do it anymore. So... Anyway, that's been the unexpected uh, expenditures for me this event. I'm just glad that I'm in a situation where even though it's annoying and I'm going to be spending a little while paying it off, it's not like a make or break or blow the budget out. I'll be able to meet all my bills and uh, not go into a financial downturn over that. So I'm very happy that I'm at that point in my life. Uh, so anyway, didn't mean to chat too much about finances, but I did want to mention that my car was at least working again and should actually, if the guy was correct in his estimate, last me about another four or five years, uh, with minimal, uh, service to keep it going. So I'm happy about that. At that point in time, probably be ready to buy another used car since... I've had one used car, um, one new car in my life. It was nice, but I'm okay with used cars, especially if it saves me money long term. When it gets to the point they're starting to nickel and dime me all the time, it's time to get a different one. So. Oh, and I did want to uh, thank you for the comment about uh, me sounding like Bob Ross on the streams. That that made my day. Still don't know why I was all snippy the other day, but um, I seem to be in a much better mood today. So that's that's a plus. So, there we go. We're starting to get to the point where it's about time to raise the bag up again. Not quite there, but getting close. When I do that, I'll see how far we've progressed. But I feel I'm making pretty decent progress here. And I like the fact that I can keep going and still talk at the same time without having to stop and double check things or make sure I'm not making a mistake. 
sometimes it's fun to just have a nice simple break to do. I might, in addition to doing the pre-recorded video for some of it, I'm also thinking that maybe I just might take it with me in the evenings and uh, sit around the campfire with some people and do it just to make sure I get it done. I know I've been trying to uh, stream all of my braiding for the last year, but I'm on vacation, so if I take a break, I don't think that's a too horrible uh, betrayal of my uh, attempt to stream everything I braid. I'm also really looking forward to when I get back home to get starting on Rob's braid. Um, go. And I am getting closer to 1,000 subs. I'm currently at 857. Had a few people join, including somebody who is from out here. So that was nice. And there we go. After I get it lined up, see how it is, uh, or to where all the colors are. Okay, apparently I'm losing my thread of conversation here. Give me a second. All right, so let's see. Yeah, it's probably time to raise up the bag. So let's do that real quick. Bring the bag up. And all right, if I remember right, it was about here. So we've added about that much since the start of the stream. Wow, we got 11 people on tonight. That's impressive, especially considering I'm... Uh, uh, camping and doing this, and I have no idea if the uh, throughput's going to stay up. It looks pretty good. Let me see who's been joined since the last time. All righty. Uh, let's see. Welcome, Jen Edwards. Nice to see you on. Uh, thank you very much for joining the stream. It's good to see you again. Let's see. Yeah. I am so sorry to hear that. Uh, I hope that you are recovering and things are improving. Hey, Bane, nice to see you on. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to be so fast on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I don't have any machines to do that. Let's see. All right. Looks like uh, we got everybody or chat caught up and uh, we're doing pretty good. Let me take a quick look and see uh, if we got anybody chatting on Rumble. Still not chatting, but we do have one person watching, which is probably me. All right. So back to the braid. It's actually just the braid going straight down almost reaches the bottom base here. All righty. And oops. I just realized here I need to drop the Tama again since, I, uh, since I'm getting close to the top. Get that real quick. I was hoping to be wearing my uh, nice uh, medieval shoes uh, for the stream. I'm still stuck with the tennis shoes right now because apparently my feet are a bit swollen and I couldn't get them on. I'm thinking I might need to get a boot hook or something like that so I can pull them on by myself. Otherwise, I'm going to need uh, my wife's help, which I might try to do tomorrow, see how well they fit. I'm hoping that they actually will uh, help with my uh, Achilles tendonitis, keeping my uh, foot the way it's oriented the way it's supposed to. But we'll see how it goes. But since it was a uh, birthday gift for my wife from the last event uh, last year, I'm looking forward to be able to wearing at least a few times. At least all the Thomas seem to be dropping the way they're supposed to without snagging or knots. That's a good sign. I'll have to measure how much uh, braid I've got based off of how much I've been streaming. Uh, that's one nice thing about streaming all the braiding is I get to look back and see how much time things actually took since I have a bit of a bad time sense and... Uh, tend to, to estimate off a bit, figuring I'm doing less, uh, things take me less time than they actually do, 
which I have come to understand is one of the uh, signs of attention deficit, um, which is one of the reasons I'm still thinking about uh, talking to somebody, seeing if get tested, see if that's the case for me, and if there's ways I can treat that so I can uh, have my life uh, more the way I want it to be, where I can do the things I want to do when I want to do them and not have things inhibit it. Um, but currently we're working on making sure that I can uh, stay awake and uh, not be sleepy all the time, which seems to be where I want that to be, but just have to confirm it with the uh, sleep doctor and then monitor that. Still using the CPAP uh, 100%. I think it's something on the order of about four months since I missed a, uh, uh, a day doing it. Though, like I said, I've been having a few migraines out here, so I don't know if it would be even worse if I didn't have the CPAP or if the CPAP is getting less effective. Because as time goes on, my migraines seem to find a way around whatever I'm using to treat them, which has been really frustrating. It's like when Imitrex first came out, had a chance to try it, didn't stop my migraine, and I felt like I was having a heart attack. But I think the worst one I tried was Zomig. I still had a migraine and uh, um, felt like I had the flu for about three days. That was not fun. Though the best one uh, I took uh, from that era was max alt um i didn't really know if it had much of an effect at all because i usually had the migraine afterward but uh i didn't seem to have any side effects with it so if you're stuck with a migraine not having side effects on top of it is definitely a plus over the other so um let's see other fun projects i think i mentioned it uh that i was uh coming up with an idea for a friend that uh wanted to make um, or cast beeswax um, cylinders that are about 5 eighths inch in diameter so they can use them to lubricate the shears they use for cutting links to make chain mail. Um, and I was originally thinking using some metal tubes that I would uh, uh, cut lengthwise or like take two tubes and mill them down so that there wasn't like a gap from the uh, kerf or the, you know, the, the stuff that gets cut away based on the width of your blade. But uh, it was suggested to me that if I have access to the plastics I do through my work as that are scraps, I might be able to uh, machine one of them uh, or machine some of that into a two-part mold and, uh, you know, use some dowel pins for alignment. And that way they've got a custom mold that they can do. Just put a little mold release in it pour their wax, let it cool down, pop it apart, and they've got their cylinders ready to go, which is a lot better than what they were doing, making uh, temporary molds out of um, rolled up paper and using, you know, pouring the wax in there and then peeling away the paper. That sounds like that was really rough for them, uh, or the, the friend and his lady. Um, Not that I don't consider the lady a friend, it's just I haven't uh, really interacted with her a whole lot over the last few years since they got together. But that's made also partly because I haven't really interacted with him a lot either. This is like one of the times I see him regularly, so. But looking forward to doing nice things for some friends of mine. He also, um, for making chain mail, he has a, uh, piece of four by six wood that he's got a couple of hemispheres uh, carved out of them where he keeps links together uh, to work from. And he wants to teach people how to do the chain mail that he does. So it would be nice if he had that tool for them to work with. So I'll probably make like about maybe four or six of those for him um, and get them to or have them on hand so he can use them to teach people. So. If nothing else, this event's been fun for uh, giving me uh, new projects to work on that I think will be fun to do. Let me uh, get this all um, at the uh, easy stopping point so I know where I'm at, and I will catch up on chat real quick. 
Oh, and uh, when I'm done with the chat, I have um, something else that was suggested to me that I would like to share. Almost there. And we are just about ready for a pause. There we go. Catch up with the chat here. All right, let's see. Okay, um, reading through here real quick. Um, they're from uh, a, um, a merchant called, I believe, Son of Sandler. Um, I think you can find them online. Let me check real quick. Um, I think I can find them. Uh, Let's see. All right. So their website is sonofsandler.com, and that is S O N O F S A N D L A R.com. And let's see. I think I can share it. Let me uh, bring it up on the right computer. one that I can actually share a screen from. All right. So let me share this, share screen. And there we go. And share. All right. This is the place. Uh, let me see. their portfolio see if I can show some of the shoes yeah the uh, shoe I have is let's see um, it's kind of like the one here on the right where it says custom Turkish only it's about just above the ankle um, so but yeah um, they took a lot of measurements and uh, um, stop sharing this real quick um there we go all right um yeah they uh they took a lot of measurements it's a very snug fit and uh i'm really happy with them i'd just like to be able to uh, wear them some more let me see if there's anything else i need check up on here um sorry to hear that's going to be so hot where you are Bane. i've been hearing there's been a lot of um fires up in there. People about down where I'm at have been complaining about it, but the weather where we are currently isn't too bad. Um, let's see. Catching up real quick. Ah, uh, Mari uh, HK, nice to uh, see you on. Uh, welcome to the stream again. I'm glad you like them. Uh, I got mine in blue and black. Um, I know I do a lot of uh, red for stuff, but blue is essentially my favorite color. Um, I also like deep purples, um, but I try not to let my personal taste override when I'm doing braids for other people. Um, Cause otherwise you just tend to have kind of a, a small palette of colors. Um, so getting to do braids for other people gives me uh, a little more variety in what I see when I'm braiding. Yeah, so, yep, yeah, we still got a ways to go before I need to raise the bag up. And... Sorry about the noise, got some golf carts driving past. Uh, I know it's a medieval event and we have golf carts, but the people on the golf carts are helping run the event. And when you've got, I think currently we're at almost uh, 6,500 people on site. Uh, there's things that need to be dealt with on a very quick basis, and you really just can't walk uh, to get to some of the places to do that. So a good friend of mine is actually the uh, head of parking enforcement. She has not been having a fun uh, event, but then she usually doesn't because, unfortunately, people seem to want to argue with the person that says, 
you can't park your car in the middle of your camp for five days in a row. You got a limited amount of time. You got to park, drop your uh, equipment at your camp, and then take your car to the parking lot because it's a medieval event, not a uh, auto event. So, though there are places where people can uh, hook up their RVs and uh, camp in there. There's also people who have um, Vardos that are set up uh, to look like um, uh, medieval cottages. Uh, one person uh, I've seen actually has theirs kind of set up to look like a pirate ship. Um, so they add to the ambiance and they add to the event. So those are allowed to be used as, you know, essentially uh, a little more permanent tents. As a matter of fact, uh, the site actually lets you uh, store them uh, over the uh, year until the next event to uh, uh, help defray costs of trying to transport them. You can get them to where they really only need to go like, you know, half a mile each year to and from your campsite from the storage area on site. So that's nice for a bunch of people. You just have to make sure that uh, every year you inspect them and do any maintenance work you need uh, so that they don't deteriorate. Because uh, left uh, in a field in Pennsylvania a year at a time can actually be kind of detrimental to them. So My wife and I have a uh, storage unit not too far from here that we use to keep uh, some of our stuff that we only use out here. Uh, so it's nice not to have to transport all of it every year. Uh, we add a little bit more each year, but uh, most of the uh, uh, cooking gear we use, uh, we save here. My wife has a um, Coleman oven, which has got a two burner uh, stove on top and an oven, and she uses it to bake out here. She absolutely loves it. Um, I think it was like $180 when we got it like 12 or 14 years ago. And it lets her do baking out here, and she just absolutely enjoys it. Uh, we also have a, a propane grill for the majority of the cooking. Um, but uh, between the two of them, uh, since she loves to cook, it gives her an opportunity to flex those cooking muscles. She uh, runs a food plan for uh, us two and some friends of ours and some of the campmates we camp with. Um, so in addition to doing her job, during the day, then she gets home and cooks in the evening, and she swears she enjoys it, but I, for other people, I think they would consider it just a bunch of work rather than fun, but they're things she, they are things that she enjoys, and I love her, so I support her in doing them. Um, if she doesn't want to do them anymore, then we won't, but uh, like I said, she likes it, and I'm happy to support her. And yes, people tell us we're sickeningly, sickening, sick and then bleh. Apparently, I can't talk today. We are sickeningly, sickeningly sweet interacting with each other. So, there we go. I will uh, probably chime in on uh, Friday Night Frenzy in two days. Now that I seem to have a pretty decent uh, setup here and I have a better idea that I'll be able to stream. Because as far as I can tell, I'm still doing a pretty effective stream. I haven't like lost connection. It doesn't look like uh, the uh, video quality has degraded. So but I'm pretty sure on my uh, phone's transmitter uh, for a cellular connection is kind of screaming on the load. But as long as it works, I'm happy. Try not to anthropomorphize too much my uh, inanimate tools. There we go. Got a little crack here that's filled with wood putty, but I think um, might have to get a little something a little more substantial, like maybe some epoxy, and then sand it down again. But yeah, this this Marodai may need some serious uh, maintenance work, or possibly I might retire it. Um, I do have another Marada here. I might transfer this over to that one if it's still kind of frustrating. It's not too bad, but like I said, I keep catching that point there. 
I might try rotating it a little bit so it's more in a dead zone. I don't have to deal with it that much there. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see if I can do that this casually and not have to do too much shifting around all at once. Just kind of rotating it to be a little better there. All right. And I think that might actually have gotten it moved far enough. All right, let's see. There we go. And there. Now comes the critical point. Can I? Yep. That fixed it. At least it's in the dead zone where it's not bothering me anymore. That was the important thing there. And I'm just about ready to catch up on the chat again. While I can do this and talk, I definitely have an issue looking away while I'm doing it. I'll probably do it for a little bit, but uh, there are quite a few um, threads on here. Uh, it's 32 Tamas uh, for this braid. Eight per quadrant. So that does take a little bit of visual work to be able to follow it. Some simpler braids I have tried and been able to successfully uh, do them with my eyes closed for a while without having a mistake. That's an interesting challenge to try. Won't necessarily say it's something people should do, but it's interesting. I'm going to catch up here. All right, doesn't look like the chat's been too bad. We've got about uh, 11 to 13 people on here, according to StreamYard and YouTube. Oops, looks like it dropped a couple people real quick. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Uh, Southern Saskatchewan, not being too bad. Don't worry, I have problems typing too. It happens. Yep, golf carts are definitely life lifesaver at times. Uh, looks like I missed you there. Hopefully you have a good time watering and stay safe. That was probably you leaving there. Hey, Carolyn, nice to see you on. Um, let's see. Uh, looking here real quick. Glad to hear that I'm um, doing okay. And glad to hear the audio and video is doing pretty good, too. Okay, Carolyn. Um, I'm glad that I'm in the neighborhood. So, uh, let's see. All right. All right, the time to raise the bag up again. It's getting pretty close. And I probably should uh, lower the Tama again. Let me get a little pinch here so it doesn't slide. All right, so that's about how much braid we've added since the start of the stream, about 43 minutes. So got anywhere from like 45 to hour and 15 minutes left streaming tonight. I'm definitely uh, enjoying myself. It's the best I've been feeling all day. I like being productive, so making good progress on this braid is definitely improving my day. And chatting with you wonderful folk. Yeah, I am currently about a mile and a half away from where highways 79 and 422 cross in western Pennsylvania. The place I am at is called Cooper's Lake Campground. And the event is the Penzik War. 50th annual Penzik War, by the way, which is why it's going to be such a big event. I did do a short of the attendance counter I made. I will try and get another um, short video of that that I can put up of it being used. But that depends on uh, whether or not the... Uh, Event staff will let me do that. I don't think it'll be a problem because they seem to be very, very happy with the uh, finished product there. And I haven't done it yet, but I'm still going to do a uh, uh, short of the tour of our gear or yurt. Um, as I understand it, uh, yurt is the Turkish word for shack and gear is the Mongolian word for home or house. Um, so the uh, Mongolian um, themed household I'm a member of tends to use gear instead of yurt for uh, identifying them. But uh, and in English, it's spelled G-E-R. Um, so I, I know the way I sound, it sounds, sounds closer to gear rather than gear. But uh, all right, we're about ready to get 
going again here. Once I get the red at the bottom here, I will uh, finish those off or roll the, unroll those a bit more to match the rest of it, and then I can get back up to full speed again. I think I got just pushing it right long enough where I can move quickly without having to tangle up against e with each other, so that's good. And... I said I was going to talk about something, and I'm not sure if I actually did. Oh, yeah, I remember what it was now. Um, now, admittedly, uh, I'm at a medieval, in a medieval-focused... Uh, um, uh, organization or whatever, and I've been doing a Kumihimo. Admittedly, it's a little bit uh, at the edges of uh, the focus of the group here. Um, it's um, pre 17th century um, European cultures and those that interacted with them. So uh, the Mongols definitely interacted. Uh, with the uh, eastern edges of Europe during the time period. And uh, there are some, there was some casual, uh, casual, but slight contact with Japan um, in that time frame. Um, but uh, I've apparently become somewhat associated with Kumihimo, but a lot of the people who start out use the foam discs. And even though I haven't push those on people or suggested that they use them because I definitely, uh, pref you know, I think the disc is a, you know, a nice place to start, but as soon as you can get to using a Mara die like this, um, it will be a lot better for your learning and skill and understanding of how to do this. Um, but like I said, I'm kind of getting associated with the, um, the, the styrofoam discs that do not look very medieval at all when people are using them. Um, so I was thinking that what I might, oh, hello, hold Hola. on just a second. I got to mute here.
Okay, audio is back live again. Sorry about that. Uh, somebody came in and I need to talk to them about uh, my job here and what needed to be ordered. So that's taken care of. And I completely, oh, now I remember what I was talking about. So anyway, um, with the uh, not wanting to uh, push a uh, more modern, less medieval uh, practice of this art, um, and trying to reduce the association that I have gotten with something that I have not been trying to do that is you know, less historical as opposed to more, um, or at least visually, if not necessarily actually. Um, I'm thinking about taking uh, like quarter inch quality plywood, like they use for musical instruments and whatnot, maybe not that high a grade, but in that, in that range. And, um, uh, cutting discs on my CNC router out of wood to replace the styrofoam one. So at least it appears to be a more medieval device, even though both of them are modern creations, essentially, uh, so that I hopefully will not be associated with that because I am trying to promote a more medieval environment uh, and a more immersive environment as opposed to jarring modernism that I have not been doing. So I can at least point, no, no, I'm the guy who's been doing this with it. Sorry, a little bit of a side rant there. I apologize. All right. A second here, and then I will catch up on the chat. The other downside here is that the... Uh, uh, trail I'm in is getting fairly warm. I have the door wide open, so hopefully um, it won't continue to heat up. And as it gets cooler outside, it'll cool down. All right, let me catch up with the chat real quick. All right. There we go. Yes, it is definitely a quick and satisfying braid to do. I, I really enjoy it as a, uh, a simple one. Jen, uh, hope you have a nice evening. Uh, thank you for coming by, and, uh, uh, oh, they're doing Trial of the Century tonight. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to overlap that, but for those of you who want to go watch that, it won't bother me at all, and thank you for having uh, been on and watched uh, as much as you have. All righty. And for those that want to watch this on the replay around, uh, you're always welcome to watch that way. There we go. A little bit of wrap around there. I think I need a slightly rougher thing in my uh, um, weight bag uh, knot or whatever you call that that uh, keeps it from sliding down. Uh, the pen on there is a bit smooth. Uh, I'm thinking maybe like a pencil or maybe a... Uh, bamboo chopstick or something like that would work better. Uh, I think they have a food merchant here that will supply, you know, that has chopsticks. I'll have to see if I can uh, buy a pair off of them or just buy a meal from them and keep it. And that'll make it easier so it doesn't, the weight bag doesn't keep sliding down occasionally if I don't get it set just right. All right. And Pretty good, let's keep on going. All right, so I'm about an hour in. So I'm guessing trial of the century starts at uh, eight o'clock my time. And so I'm gonna do probably at least an hour and a half. Uh, if I start getting a little sleepier than I expected or a little more tired, I'll go ahead and end it there, but uh, I am tentatively shooting for two hours. Getting to the uh, spice must flow time is something I should probably practice doing regularly. Not that I tend to swear a lot. At least on camera. I have been known to use the occasional bit of invective, though I don't use the F stop as in every other word. Uh, 
spacer in my language. But I'm not on stream. If nothing else, if I did, that would disappoint my mother. Not so much that I'm a, you know, quote unquote, mama's boy, but she's such a nice person. It's a shame to disappoint her. Like I said, it's like kicking puppies. My uh, dad's been doing pretty good at home. Speaking of which, parent, the parental units, he actually uh, sent me a message that he wants to uh, talk about the 3D printer that I gave him to make sure he's getting it right. He said I could wait till I get home to call him back, which I probably will not do because that's still a week and a half away, and I don't want to make him wait that long. Uh, so. My lovely wife has brought me dessert, which, whoops, and I grabbed the wrong one there. All right, there we go. That's why I need to keep looking when I do this stuff. I'm going to uh, put the audio on pause for just a second and take a look at the wonderful dessert she brought me. Give me a second here. And... It looks like it is peach upside down cake tonight. Gonna grab a quick bite because it's usually good warm. Okay. Um, I'll have to look at that. Uh, Carolyn, um, see how well that would work for my situation, but this one does work. It's just a little, the, the pan I'm using is a bit slippery. That is very tasty. There is a reason I am work. I have to work to lose weight though. I'm pretty good about not just eating everything that my wife cooks. Um, I do have some self-control. My main issue is trying to be active enough that I burn off the calories I do eat. Um, I've apparently got permission to be able to use the elliptical at home again. So when I get home, I'm going to try and do shoot for roughly half an hour a day on the elliptical, like listening to audiobooks and the like. And once uh, I get that going regularly, I'm hoping that will start jumpstart my weight loss again. I have lost quite a bit of weight when I tried. It's been like in a biggest loser environment uh, that my work would put on. And that's not a good way to lose weight. So for like the last four or five years, uh, what I've been trying to do is make sure that I eat well, that I don't eat a lot, and that I use exercise to uh, burn off the excess calories to get to where I want to be. Uh, and that I've got a, you know, a sustainable diet that will keep me at my goal weight once I um, reach it. So I think I'm pretty good for that. I mean, I do have a little bit of, uh, you know, excess here and there, but I have done the whole calorie counter thing. So I actually have a good idea of what I do eat. I don't have like um, unknown snacking where, you know, you're not really paying attention and don't realize how fast the calories add, uh, add up when you do that. Um, so I do try and maintain a, a good idea of what I'm actually consuming even though i don't track all the calories anymore um, but i pay attention to what i eat i really don't eat pizza anymore even though i really did enjoy it and i try and uh, uh, not eat a lot of calorie dense food i do like veggies um, i'm a big fan of like broccoli brussels sprouts asparagus artichokes um, not really a big fan of beans, um, string bean or lima, the type. Uh, there are some um, squashes and zucchini I like, depending on how it's fixed. I like mushrooms a lot, uh, depending on the variety. Um, and my uh, main snack currently at work tends to be uh, tuna or salmon packets 
which um, run about 100 calories each. I'll have like one for morning break, one for afternoon break, and then have like a uh, not too horrible lunch. Um, chicken tenders or the like. I prefer not to have it breaded as much, but I do. Uh, I, I tend to keep it probably around the 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day. If I can do a decent amount of exercise, that's a, definitely a sustainable uh, food intake that shouldn't keep me ballooning up or make me feel like I'm hungry all the time or not maintain a decent weight or a decent activity level. So. However, if I have problems with mobility and stuff, uh, I may go the uh, route my wife did with the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Um, basically to get me down to the point where um, I can keep the activity level up without having to deal with the uh, extra weight and the problems that uh, brings that prevents you from mobility. So anyway, don't mean to be rambling too much on that. Let me uh, get to where I can take a pause real quick and I will check the uh, chat again. I think we have to pause here. All right, let me do it real quick. Yep, I figure every. Um, whoops, sorry, let me. What I'm responding to. Um, I'm happy to try and do everything I can to keep my uh, my dad's mind stimulated and working on uh, keeping his uh, memory going as much as possible. Um, especially considering he's my mom's uh, primary caregiver. I'm hoping that uh, he does well enough that uh, he's able to keep doing that because I want them to be able to enjoy living in their home together as much as they can and both be functional. So, all right. And I am about to the point where I need to drop comma again or unroll them. I don't really want to like drop them on the floor. It's noisy. I feel embarrassed. And when people are downstairs me, they find it annoying as well. So, all right, let's go ahead and unroll some of these a little bit down. And then I'll, uh, bag's about to the point where I should pull it up again. We'll see how much braiding and braid I've got off of it at this point. Oops. I almost went a little bit too far. I don't want to have to re-roll it, so since I'm still roughly setting it, I'll just drop a couple of the others Boom. even so that nothing is... Essentially what I'm trying to do here is every other one I'm uh, hanging... Let's see if that shows up. I'm, they're hanging like that. And uh, what that hopefully does for me is um, allows me to have more Tama around the uh, Maradai mirror without... Uh, hitting each other, making it awkward to braid. Um, sometimes I will, instead of doing just uh, uh, two level height, I'll do three, but, but that's more on the Takadai. Uh, I don't really have to do that on the Maradai. I should probably get my voice a little clearer. I um, guess I'm getting a little bit uh, tired and the volume is dropping which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it does make it harder to hear me, especially since I know I need to work on my enunciation. Uh, I can't say how many times when I've said the word rich, people think I'm saying ridge, as in the ridge wallets, which are not a sponsor to this stream. They have sent me no money, no product, no contract. As far as I know, they don't even know if I am alive. And I probably would have to get monetized a while before they'd be willing to do something like that. Uh, speaking of which, how would you folks feel if I did do, you know, like in-stream ad reads uh, once I get monetized? If that's something that would uh, offend you horribly or if it would be just sort of a, yeah, it kind of needs to do that to make money at this thing. So, yeah. been thinking about that. Um, 
for those of you who know, I tend to watch Nick Ricada a fair amount, and he's been fairly honest. Well, not, I don't know if you could say he's been honest, but he's been open about uh, what's involved with uh, making a living doing stuff like this. Uh, you know how people you know get sponsorships and ads and stuff like that. Um, I will say that uh, I will not uh, do any ads for a product that I don't believe in or I'm not willing to use myself, which means that for a lot of the uh, um, game ads, um, they're definitely something I would never do. I uh, played, uh, I think it was Final Fantasy 15 online or something like that for a while, and it cost me way too much money, and I just don't feel that I can support an ad for games like that where they're seems their entire existence for being is to suck large amounts of money out of people who have somewhat addictive personalities. Uh, I don't have an issue with uh, you know, addictive for substances, but I do have um, kind of a hyper focus for things I enjoy. And uh, like I said, I spent way too much money doing that. I stopped playing it like about uh, probably five years ago. And uh, I'm very careful that I don't start playing any games that uh, are mostly, you know, you got to pay to win type stuff. I do play one game on the desktop that um, does have, you know, it's a uh, um, uh, type of game where they, you can spend money regularly. You can actually spend a fair amount, but you don't have to do it to win. And I don't uh, spend a lot of money with them. So, uh, I do know that's the case, but I also wouldn't recommend it to anybody else. It's just something that satisfies, you know, the mental itch for me to play types, you know, some types of games, and I don't have to actually spend a ton of money on it. Um, and you don't have to do that to, to play, I mean, to win when you're playing it. Um, there's not like a win per se. Uh, they have goals type things and events, and you can complete them successfully and not spend a penny. And it's actually kind of fun to uh, figure out how to do that. And uh, anyway, so don't mean to talk too much about that. But um, but yeah, if I if I did ads, it would probably be for like products, maybe some services. Uh, I do think that uh, a lot of VPNs are um, relatively decent ideas, especially if you like to be able to like watch shows that are not in your local market. Like if you want to enjoy uh, stuff that's not necessarily English language, um, there's been a lot of uh, shows coming out of Korea lately that I've been enjoying. Um, their horror movies are actually pretty decent that I enjoy um, that I've seen come out of it, usually on Netflix or stuff like that. But uh, it's occasionally fun to like change your VPN to a different country and see what uh, offerings that you'll see there that you don't see when you're in your home country and I just realized I did not um, sling the bag up or move the bag uh, up higher and see where I was in the braiding process so let me just get this back to a natural stopping point and I will get that taken care of real quick I admit I am kind of getting a little bit on to, into braid hypnosis and doing the stream of consciousness uh, commentary doesn't always help in avoiding uh, great hypnosis, but I can tell when I'm getting in there because I don't really focus on the braid itself. It's just kind of a seeing the general patterns there. Also, my wife is back, so give me a second here. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, oh, you're fine? Okay. All right. In that case, I won't hit the mute, and you may hear my lovely wife's voice as she talks to me, or I talk to her. All right, so you're at the point where I can move the uh, weight bag up a little bit, and get a little bit of a pinch there. Oops. Do a little pinch there. It doesn't really slide down that much, but uh, why is it not wanting to stick now? All right, so started there. So this much has uh, come out. Let's see if I can't get a nice up close view for you wonderful folks here. So, yep, that's the braid structure there. 
I'm pretty happy with how it's been turning out. I'm getting a nice consistent pattern here. Let me catch up with the chat there. Hey, Equality, nice to see you on. Um, all right. Thank you for the uh, the willingness to put up with an occasional ad read if I ever get that successful. Understood. I appreciate you popping in. That's very nice. And thank you again for smashing the like button. And for everybody who is on here, if you haven't done so already, if you're willing to do the uh, like and share, that really does help me. Or like and comment. I don't really... Uh, know the best way to share where YouTube would see that. I know they've got a little share button type thing, but all right. So we are back to braiding again. And how are you doing, dear? If you want to comment, if not, that's perfectly fine too. Doing fine. So, and we are about an hour and 11 minutes into the stream. So I'm probably going to go for at least another 20 minutes. Um, but as I mentioned before I paused, I am starting to get a little bit into the braid hypnosis, which is letting me know that I'm starting to get a bit tired, despite the fact that I've taken my wake-up medicine recently. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently, I've got a point where if I focus on something, after a while, it just kind of sucks that level of uh, attention out of me, and I can't focus quite as well until I like rest for a little bit, but rating isn't too bad on that. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently I got a cough a little bit here and there. If it's too bad. I'll get something to drink. Also, the next time I uh, take a pause here, I think I'm going to take another bite or two of the, the dessert. And, uh, also starting to run out of things I was going to talk about. Oh, the deserves bourbon peach upside down cake. Okay. I did say earlier it was a peach up, that upside down cake, but the specific variety apparently is bourbon peach upside down cake. The uh, apple um, upside down cake that uh, she makes, she uses a um, Jim Beam apple uh, for some of the flavor there. It gets baked off, but uh, it does add a nice flavor to it. And uh, usually comes out nice, soft, gooey, and tasty. And fortunately, there are people that eat with us. Otherwise, I would be very tempted to eat much more than my fair share. But if I am going to keep losing weight, it's something I really can't do. But I do enjoy the bit of it that I do eat. And as I've heard uh, some people discussing weight loss say, if you get yourself a bit hungry, that's when the food tastes the best. All right. We're definitely making good progress with this braid. After when I'm done uh, and off stream, I will take measurements, try and get an estimate if I'm going to be able to get this finished with streaming or if I'll need to uh, do some braiding non-streaming. All right. And... Oops. Should move that one a little bit more. Get a little close together. I probably should try and spread them a bit more apart. Make it a little more even. I'll have to fight it so much. But as easy as this one is, you really don't have to fight it a lot. I mentioned it earlier uh, before you were here that I'm thinking it might be a good idea to try and get some sort of uh, boot hook so I can get my shoes on. Uh, by myself okay. if I have slightly swollen feet or something like that. But I'm not sure, since the uh, boot doesn't have, or the shoes don't have like a loop over the back, um, not sure where I'd hook it on. Probably have to hook it on like one of the buttons to pull it up. But 
I also brought up the uh, Son of Sandler website for people so they could see the type of shoe it is since I'm not wearing it. Well, I'm willing to jam it on you tomorrow morning. Okay. And bag just drop it down. I'm thinking of switching to a um, like a chopstick, uh, you know, bamboo chopstick, so it's a little rougher, so it doesn't slide quite so easily. I think my wife may be going out to get me a chopstick, so might be able to change that real quickly. I'll have to see if that. Uh, Prediction is accurate or not in a few minutes, but she has stepped out of the trailer. Oh, that's one thing I might do. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I went ahead and uh, ah, we have a chopstick here. The tip is pink from the uh, package. Okay. All right, so let's see. I'll uh, get to an actual nice uh, visible, and I keep dropping off floor. Uh, visible stopping point, so it's e if I move stuff around accidentally, it'll be easy to get it back to where I was. It should be fairly quickly here. Hey, uh. Al Shirley, nice to see you on. No worries about being late. Um, don't mind if you watch it on the replay or live. Uh, and you're always welcome here. It's nice when people drop in. Thank you for coming by. And two more moves, and I'll see if I can't get the uh, pen changed out without making too much of a mess. All right, so I'm going to... Drop it down here, and we'll go ahead and, whoops, okay, I didn't kill the stream, that's good. Let's see if I can't make this a nice, easy swap out. Looks like I've got that. And, all right. Too bad. I think I may have to uh, cut it. Hmm. Pinch that a little bit more. I might have to cut the end off a little bit because it's kind of sticking out past the Maradine mirror. I'm going to see if Oscar lets the trailer up. Okay. Still slipping somewhat. That's good for now. All right. Let's even this up a little bit and keep on going. Just have to be careful not to hit the ends, which will probably cause it to drop. And there we go. Looks like I'm starting to get close to that uh, groove there. The Careful not to slide into it too much. Yeah. I'll have to find the uh, instructions on the uh, Kumihimo Facebook uh, for this particular uh, hold knot and see if I've got it right or if I can improve it. I just haven't uh, had a chance to sit down and do that since I've been out here. But it does work. It's just not quite as ideal as I would like. But it's definitely a lot easier than tying a new knot every time uh, I need to move the bag up, which is what I used to do. It would also kind of distort the braid a little bit. Not too bad. Uh, move it around a little bit once it's off the uh, maradai, and it would uh, even out the tension. Just takes a little while to do that. Oops, I am not seeing anything because I have the start menu popped up over the video feed. All right, let me do this without accidentally uh, killing the feed. All right, there we go. 
And all right, we're looking good. We're down to about six people on, which is not too bad, considering I'm unintentionally competing against uh, Trial of Century. Hope that uh, Ian's doing pretty good tonight. I know he's been uh, flying around uh, and not feeling too well while traveling. Hope that uh, some time at home in his own bed with uh, nuclear-grade soup to uh, make him feel better. Speaking of which, if you have not seen it yet, um, uh, he did a uh, getting ready with me video, as is the trend, that is absolutely hysterical. He wakes up, swigs hot sauce, uh, clears the house in the morning, sweeping around, and uh, shaves using... Um, Hot sauce as a uh, shaving oil and a broadsword. Speaking of which, the broadsword was indeed the one that uh, he had me use to design his uh, the sword for his braid. All right, and I'm at the point where it's time to roll the tama down a bit more. And there we go. Already. And one quarter down. Helps if I try and unroll them the correct way. If I try and unroll them the wrong way, they just don't move. But that's the way the lock said now is supposed to work for this. I'm trying to say this or these, and saying them both together just kind of mushes it. Yes, Texas Nana, it was indeed hilarious. I enjoyed it quite a bit, had fun laughing at it. I uh, can't wait to see uh, Rob's uh, entry into that since he said he was going to do one as well. All right, got him half rolled down. There we go. She was, my wife was very nice and shortened one that's not longer than the Mardi. So I will finish dropping these and then trade it out once again. Got busted by Oscar in his trailer, cutting it off. He wasn't too upset, was he? Oh, hell no. He thinks it's funny. Okay. Oh, he uh, came in and says. Hey, Matt. Okay, he, he told you about it yes. then. All right. I'll put it on the list uh, for tomorrow. I wanted to make sure you knew because I wasn't sure I was going to describe it correctly. All right. So loosen that up here. Let's do a straight swap out again since it worked so well the last time. Let's try it with the pointy end rather than the blunt end. Looks much better that way. All right. And pull that out. And... Let's try this again. All right. Oops. Definitely need to look at the instructions again and see what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong with this holding method. method. But it does work. All right, let's see. All right, so I started out here. I've got... Let me see how much parade I've produced in hour and 24 minutes about 11 inches that's been a pretty good rate I was last time I was thinking I was doing about 12 inches an hour um, but this is one of the faster braids I do and after I'm done with this I am definitely gonna have to see uh, how funny my wife finds my running stream of consciousness running commentary but I at least am glad that uh, I have been practicing it enough. Whoops, I think I double did that one. Let me. Yeah, I started at the wrong spot. Give me a second here. At least that's easy to fix. But yeah, I'm far enough in. I don't want to add an error at this point. But yeah, I'll have to see how amusing she finds it but what i was trying to say was at least i have been doing it 
enough that I fortunately managed to get a lot of the ums and errs and uhs out of my voice because that is annoying. And I try and do it as little as possible. Though I do tend to say alrighty a lot more than I uh, want to because I'm not that big of a uh, Jim Carrey fan. And Ace Ventura is not a vocal pattern I really want to duplicate. But alrighty seems to be the appropriate word I'm looking for when I say it, so not much else I can do about that. Come on, you guys, you can untangle. Almost there. There we go. All right. And untangled. All right. Okay. Get these go there. And those go there. Problem with pausing in the middle is you can kind of forget where you are, but at least with this braid, it's fairly easy to tell if you just pay attention to which strands are on top and which ones aren't. There we go. Now I can drop the remaining quarter and we can go back to full speed again. Sandy, uh, one of the people watching uh, who goes by the handle of Texas Nana says that Mrs. Torrin is so thoughtful. Thank you. I'm pretty sure you heard that, but if you didn't, she said uh, thank you. I do have a somewhat directional mic, but it should hopefully pick up stuff uh, in that direction as well, above a certain level. go. We are back to full braiding speed. However, we are not at plaid speed yet, which is good because that really blows out the white balance on the camera. Yeah, we've been going about an hour and 28 minutes, so I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, stop in like the next 10 or 15. Um, maybe when it's time to do the next uh, drop down. Whoops. Snag there. Let's get these back in the right order. There we go. Tuck there, though that's not really all that necessary with this particular braid pattern. It's pretty good that, uh, especially with 32 Tama, uh, there's enough weight that it likes to uh, make a nice snug braid here. If I did wind up going much larger than this, I would definitely want to drop the uh, weight on my Tama so that it doesn't pull it so tight. When she gets back, I'll tell her that you said you're welcome. And... So, I will probably not be streaming Friday night because I do not want to uh, butt up against um, Friday Night Frenzy. Um, so, thinking about whether or not I want to do a Thursday night stream or maybe a Friday mid-morning stream. Uh, the purchasers for my department head out about between 9 and 10. And my backup uh, doesn't arrive here till about noon or one. So I've got about two hours there I can do some braiding in between. Um, so I think I'm tentatively going to do that unless I find a class that I want to attend in that time frame. Uh, but I will try and uh, post at least by Thursday night what I've got planned. Uh, I might even uh, set up the stream Thursday night. Uh, so I don't have to try and do it in the morning when I'm trying to do the other work stuff. And let's get these untangled. There we go. And there. All right. Okay. And I 
think at the next pausing point, I'm going to have a, another bite or two of the uh, peach upside down cake. Yeah, backside there was getting a little tangled. I think because I may have done it just a little bit too long on the drop down. If you get them too long, they want to wrap around each other when they uh, get moved, especially when I have um, so many um, Tama on here at once. With fewer Tama, it's not as much of an issue. All right. We are about ready for another snack. Yep. Definitely tasty, tasty, tasty. Tasty, tasty, tasty. It's time for another cook off. Sorry, these just random phrases and whatnot pop up in my head and if i say them they go away and they don't haunt me again for a while i do apologize if any of them haunt you i am not a member of the society for prevention of cruelty to earworms earworms should be stamped out especially if you had like x song that i will not name because it will stick in your head Playing there for like three days running. Not a nice thing. And so if I'm going to get about nine feet um, out of this braid... And I'm about at least 18 inches into it now. Uh, probably closer to 24 inches by the time I'm done. Probably need to stream at least four more times for at least an hour and a half each time to uh, get this break finished. So that is definitely doable. Um, But I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that with all the other stuff I have. So I will probably go ahead and uh, take this back to camp maybe one or two nights and uh, sit around the campfire listening to other people and braid my little fingers' hearts out. If I do that, though, I will uh, try and let you know how much I've done. So at the end of this one, I will measure what I've gotten so far and uh, maybe add it to the description so that uh, people can track how much I've done by the description. Maybe not. Just trying to think ahead. And Mrs. Torn has not yet come back. But I will definitely tell her that you said uh, you're welcome, Texas Nana. Speaking of Texas, uh, our roommate, um, the lady who taught me uh, silversmithing and enameling, um, did live in Texas for about eight years. Uh, I think from about 2010 to 2018, lived in Austin. Moved down there with one Siamese cat, came back with another, though the one she moved down there with um, was, I think, 21 years old when she moved down with him, and lived until he was like 23. His name was Mr. Zonker. He was a very old and tired cat, but he loved being warm, uh, so he enjoyed his time in Texas. 
he was very vocal when he lived uh, with us. Um, he would occasionally walk out into the hallway and yowl to the point where we've had people on the phone say, do you have a goat? He was fairly placid. Have you petted him? And he had his food and his dry litter box that was cleaned. Uh, he was a very happy cat. Uh, he was kind of skinny when he moved in with us, and my wife was very good at adding uh, meat to his uh, frame and uh, helped his coat to grow back somewhat. And uh, when our roommate moved back, she had a relatively new uh, Siamese that was much smaller um, and was a rescue. And uh, she does not talk a whole lot. As a matter of fact, she's almost entirely silent uh, unless she's very upset. And that doesn't happen very often, thank goodness. Uh, she also likes it very warm. Um, and uh, her name is Miss Sugars. And she is very friendly. Um, though if you don't pet her right, she tends to gnaw on you. Not horribly, just like you're not doing it right. She also has a lot of allergies. So when her head gets stuffed up, she has taught us all how to uh, squeeze her sinuses to help relieve her discomfort. And you'd think we were like bothering her, but um, or using too much force, but she seems to enjoy it and doesn't like it if we don't do it right. So. She knows what makes her head feel better and she's trained us how to do it right. All right, we've been going about an hour and 37 minutes. I think that's pretty good. So once I get to my natural stopping point, I will go ahead and end the stream. If anybody has any questions or anything they would like to know, chat, whatever, now is about the time to say them. I will quickly read through the chat before I end the stream. And uh, like I said, probably Friday morning I might do another one. I will also uh, measure the... Uh, Output I've gotten so far. Um, let's see. Make sure I don't accidentally put those in the wrong order. And to remind myself if I need to check again, it is black on top from where I sit at the stopping point. There we go. Two more to do, and I'll be at my stopping point. There we go. All right, let's raise the bag up. Okay. Part of the issue, I think, is why it's having a hard time sticking. It's because the bag is so heavy. It's 1,600 grams, so a little over three pounds, about three and a half pounds for the counterweight here. And let's, so we got about an inch hanging down, and so that's 13 inches there, and 11 more, so 24 inches. I've got two feet out of here so far. Um, yeah, Siamese, um, they do tend, a lot of them tend to be vocal. Um, but, uh, the ones I know that are affectionate tend to be very affectionate. Some of them tend to be standoffish. So I've got 24 inches of braid. Um, so I got two feet, nine feet. So I got seven feet left to go. Uh, two feet over about three hours. Um, all right. So if I do foot per hour and a half or whatever that's should be a good reasonable amount so all right i'll have to think what i'm going to do about that thank you very much thank you carolyn um 
I believe you are on the Facebook groups I'm on. Um, so I do appreciate you coming by and visiting. And any commentary you have on rating, uh, if I understand, if I got the right person in my head as to who you are, you are definitely a skilled person. And uh, I appreciate every comment that you make on that. It's uh, very helpful for me and for the other participants here. So I think we are done for tonight. And I want everybody to stay safe and happy braiding. And we'll see you again soon.